Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm playing some more Persona 5 and in the last episode we took down Malarame and he hasn't confessed his um, sins yet but I think we're going to have to wait till the end of the day so they eventually run out. And we also discovered in the last episode that our homeroom teacher is also a cheeky bit of a naughty escort. Unfortunately we can't discover really why yet because we don't have enough guts but hopefully in this episode we're going to be creating all our stats and we'll uh, see Madarame's change in heart. So guys let's get into the gameplay. Okay guys, this is where I ended off. Um, here we go. I think I want to go see how Shiho is doing. Do you think you could spare some time to talk to me before I head over there though? I could do it right now if that works for you. Um, sure. We've been spending a lot of time with Arn recently, but you know, just building up our bonds. Sounds good, you're a lifesaver. I totally don't know what kind of gift I should bring for Shiho. Well, I'll be waiting in Shibuya. Okay, let's go see on and then I sort of want to... What else do I want to do? For real? Hey, I have some big news. That double cream from that famous crepe shop is half off right now. Aww. Oh, but I probably can't take a crepe to the hospital, huh? I really want one though. Do you think maybe Shiho would want one too? Maybe. In that case, I'll buy two. Oh. So I guess she might have rehab today too. They probably wouldn't want even let her eat. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, she has started her physical rehab, she pushed it up ahead of schedule. I think it's because I told her about how I want to get stronger. She said she was going to start working hard too. I haven't actually seen any of her rehab sessions yet though. Oh, hold on. What, now? Oh, that's not good. Sorry, Sorry something just came up, that's from my agency. One of the models didn't show for a magazine shoot they're doing. They're looking to wrap soon, so I'm going to go over... So I'm going to head over now to fill in. Let's it's go. pretty close though. Want to come with? Actually, just let's go. I'll race you there. Shush Discord. Oh my god. Shut up. Sorry. <laughs> we arrived at the meeting spot. It looks like they're ha having a pre-shoot briefing. Alan Senpai, I'm so pumped to get to work with you today. Our first saw you in the last year's show, I just... Oh, I think I'm going to cry. But, um, it really right. wasn't a big deal. That fashion show was tiny. By the way, I'm Mika, and please, don't honorifics. I might be older, but you have loads more experience, our senpai. Alright, Mika. Ha, <laughs> it feels a little weird saying it like that. Oh, and you don't need to use senpai with me. Anyway, uh, it's nice to meet you. Anchan. Anchan? <laughs> You're so nice. Hey, can you teach me how to be a better model? You know, your everyday routine, stretches. Routines? Mm -hmm. You mean like singing in the shower? Uh, is that all you do? Then what kind of stuff do you eat? I've been looking all over for a place to import some organic green almonds. Plus, I'm getting super tired of eating quinoa. Do I need to like boil it in hard water or something? Mm -hmm. Um, almonds? I only ever eat those when they're covered in chocolate. And hard water? Isn't it kind of tough to boil rice? She's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Do you weigh yourself? Oh, of course. Once a year for the health examinations at school. So you're going to keep it all a secret from me, huh? I get it. I guess it's hard trusting someone you just met. But that's not it. I just don't really think about that stuff. It has nothing to do with not trusting you. It's more that modelling is like a hobby for me. What? Arn Senpai. That's so horrible. What do you mean you don't care about modelling for these guys? You said that, Aunt Chan? What? I... I love this magazine. Everyone tries so hard to make sure their products are the best. Mika-chan, just calm down. Don't worry, we all know that you're giving it, you're all here. But you guys work so much harder than me and I'm still the one getting comforted. Oh, uh, hold on. Aunt Chan, the truth is that we had both you and Mika-chan come down as substitutes for our missing model. We wanted both of you on the cover, but if you're not really interested... <gasps> hey, I didn't... Don't worry, I can do it alone. I read the concept docs on my way here. Hey. Oh, he. What? <laughs> you faker! You're so mean, Anchan. Do you really hate me that much? Keep it civil, you two. Anyway, you good to go, Mika-chan? Sorry about all this, Anchan. We won't be needing you today. We'll reimburse your transportation expenses, though, and even throw in a little extra for your trouble. Oh, but, oh my god, what a bitch! 
bagging and stuff left for the photo shoot. I really screwed that up. You're outmatched. Yeah. But maybe it's because deep down I'm not actually that invested in modelling. She sees straight through that. Anyway, I totally ruined the shoot. But still, wasn't Mika's fake crying pretty incredible? She's not going to be a phantom thief. It had Grace. Oh, maybe that's what I'm missing. Huh, I don't know though. I think I'm pretty good at fake crying myself. I know the perfect technique. So how do you do it? Listen carefully. The key is, you don't actually cry. I figure that much. Either way, I think you'll be able to use that ability to our advantage in the metaverse. I'll turn my failure today into positive energy going forward. I sense a heightened motivation from Arn. Hey, we rang it up again, guys! Crocodile tears, charge to force enemies to ask for less during negotiations. All right. The lover's confidence increased to rank 5. You can now. Uh, blah, 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 blah. We always go through that. Arn can now use crocodile tears. Speaking of the metaverse, I'm going to try super hard in my work with the Phantom Thieves too. But for now, I should go stop by and she see Shiho at the hospital. Thanks, Thanks for today. Well, I really didn't do anything, Bye. I can follow you around. Bye! Evening time. Ah, you're back. Um. So I'm actually going to go do the, the burger challenge again. Because I need more guts. We just need more guts, guys. We need more guts. Just so I can do th more medical trials. And then we can do more... Um, we can ring the teacher. That's what I really want to do. Sorry I'm not reading all this out. Just because I've done it twice before. Like, reading all out. Do -do. Certainly. Can we do it though? Probably not. <laughs> Thank you very much. Gives you down guts from just taking on like bosses and stuff. <laughs> now then, we can do this. Go go go! Dun, 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 dun. It looks like a whole head of lettuce is in here. The burger's already cold. It looks good, but it's so big. We oh, failed man. again. We need more knowledge as well to take this one on. <laughs> He's got one point for guts. All right. Still not actually improving Wanna though. Head back? Yeah, let's head back. Maybe do some more studying tomorrow. I think that's what I need to level up. We've done like kindness and charm quite a bit. And we can do that through reading. Ooh, my phone went off. Huh? Who could that be at this hour? Oh, look how they sleep together. It's so cute. There's a movie I gotta see. If you're free tomorrow, you wanna go to Shibuya to catch it? The cake light rises, it's an action flick. What do you say? If you respond right away to a conflict invitation without putting you on hold, your relationship will deepen. Your relationship will deepen. Okay. Yeah, sure, why not? That settles it then. Let's meet up in front of the movie theatre in Shibuya. An action movie, huh? Sounds fun. But this is gonna be the third time you've seen this movie. And I'm sorry I keep like, tripping over my words today, guys. I'm just having one of those days where I just, I can't, I can't speak. Although that seems to be every day recently. <laughs> Going up on a Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, my sorry. bad. I was killing time at the convenience store and I didn't realize how late it was. Dun, dun. 
Oh, we've got an idea of kind again, okay. Our kindness has gone up, our charm is still at right. one. The only ones we really not to start is kindness and proficiency. This is sort of annoying. Damn, I might have up a little bit. Those revenge movies really make you feel, you know. How about you? Don't these revenge movies make you feel something? Sure. Right? Right? This kind of thing is what the Phantom Thieves are doing too. Alright, let's get going. It was fun kicking it with you today. Cute! I thought a bomb was gonna deepen. But it didn't. Ah, you're back. Yusuke, any changes yet? How's Madarame? Not at the moment, he's still bedridden. Wait, you think that this is too much for that old bastard's heart? There's no need to worry, his life does not appear to be in any danger. I hope we don't F up our first official mission. Can you talk at all? So far, all he has to say to me is, I'm sorry. I haven't been able to speak to him since though, he's in no state to hold a conversation. For real? If he ends up taking legal action against us, our leader will be in big trouble. You are under probation, correct? That would be problematic. Hey, we're gonna be okay, aren't we? For sure, we're gonna be okay. If Alice says so, I'm sure it's true. I will contact any of you if any progress is made. Let's just wait for the change of heart for now. Yeah, we'll be waiting for your updates, Yusuke. That reminds me, the home shopping program is airing today. Yeah. Let's have a look at this. Mm. Two pairs of wild clogs. Um, I'll buy it because these always seem pretty good. I'm gonna have that much money at the moment. Oh well. Sorry guys, if I don't read out like everything, if I've already like done it before, then I'll just like skip through it all. Goodbye for now. Okay, we have to wait for it to arrive. How are you doing? We have seven days to kill. You got time right now? Um, nah. Next I'm going time. to study. Now listen up. Make sure you're close. Increasing up. our knowledge, because one day it might actually increase the level two. You never know. I'm trying. Hey. hey. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts? Yeah, we've got two points for studying. Yes! We learned! We learned! Alright. Yes! Fucking yep. finally! Guys, it happened. We have more knowledge. We have more knowledge. Oh god. Let me just get the door quickly. I'm back. Ah, we were able to grab a seat. Why don't you read something until we get there? Um this one does proficiency increase, which is cool. Hmm? The secret to decluttering is a pure and serene heart. Pure and serene heart. Mm. Is this book really about cleaning or is it about training you to become a monk? Hey, hey. Hmm. Oh, I didn't realise how long you've been reading. So how far did you get? Seems like you still have some pages left. You should continue some other time. Oh, we're almost at the station. I'll say the efficient use of your time. We need to buy some more books soon. Maybe one for guts, because we clearly need them. Oh, yeah. I've actually gotten into fishing lately, although it's just pond fishing from time to time. I can't go sea fishing because I get seasick easily. So much for my dream of being a sailor. Alright, when people think of sailing the high seas, they tend to think of pirates. Even though they're ruffians who plunder other ships and coastal settlements through force, for some reason they end up getting romanticised. Now then, Roshakun. What is the answer? Who was the pirate who said that he hid his treasure in a certain place just before he was executed? William Kidd, isn't it? Yeah, William Kidd. Very good. That's right! The answer is William Kidd, also known as Captain Kidd. Kidd was a merchant who had raised money from aristocrats. He should have been subduing pirates. But in order to turn his commission into a profit, he ended up becoming a pirate himself. Hey, did you know that? I had no idea. Maybe it actually is smart. I'm kind of surprised. Oh shit, the teacher's glaring at us. Nice. Well, you must be really smart to be able to answer a question like that. One knowledge point. All right. The 
money he used for his exploits were essentially the aristocracies. He wasn't, wasn't pfft, he himself wasn't considered rich. Still, several novels are written based on his legend, and people still look for his treasure today. By the way, I've heard that there's an island in Kyushu where kids' treasure is said to sleep. Yep. Kids' secret treasure, huh? Regardless of its actual worth, there's still value in letting that many people dream about it. And we're back to after school again. Mm. It's raining. The way weather affects people here may affect mementos too. Well, here we go. So, you know how I was looking for somewhere good to train? Well, I found a great place. I can practice as much as I want now. This is kind of sudden, but want to go check it out today? Um, why not? Yeah, go train with him. That's what I'm talking about. There's a cheap gym in a back alley over in Shibuya. Let's meet up and I'll show you the way. Oh, that's rain today. I probably should have studied because that gives you extra points. We can do that tonight. The rain stopped. Oh. Here we are, it. protein lovers gym. It pays per visit, so you don't have to worry about bullshit contracts or nothing. The equipment's kind of crappy, but they get tons of variety. Plus, it's real damn cheap, totally worth, even without a pool or a hot tub. By the way, oh yeah, you bring your stuff? A towel? Nah, they'll lend you one of them. I'm talking about spare undies. Get back into your sweaty clothes after a nice hot shower is like the grossest goddamn thing. Oh, but don't go getting your hopes up. No way I want to let you use mine. Wanna get going? Anyway, let's head in. See, now I need to go to the gym. I didn't go this morning because I was like, you know what? I'm going to work real hard today. <laughs> Phew. My form's coming back, but I don't got any stamina. Oh. Sakamoto? Whoa. Ikeda, senpai. Go Gornin? Don't you mean good morning? <laughs> You're as eloquent as ever, Sakamoto. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. I've been studying my words and shit. Of course you have. <laughs> oh, and you don't need to call me senpai anymore. I've already graduated, remember? Hmm, I haven't seen you before. Were you on the track team? Him. Oh, he's a friend. By the way, he showed up. Guys, I honestly can't speak today, I'm so sorry. By the time he showed up, the track team was already, well, you know. Speaking of which, how's your leg? Oh, I'm managing. How about you, Senpai? You still running? I actually joined my university track team. You'd think I would have quit entirely after what happened. <sighs> about that, I'm real sorry. No, I should be the one apologising. I was supposed to be the leader of our team, yet I just resigned myself to Kamashita's as well. That's because you needed him to write your letter of rec, right? You're just looking out for your future, but I still managed to F it up anyways. Kamashida clearly never intended on writing my letter of recommendation. You were just the excuse not to. And honestly, I enjoy where I am now. The track team isn't anything special, but it's perfect for me. So in truth, I should be thanking you for what you did, Sakamoto. Senpai? I'll always regret not doing more to protect you guys. But I heard some good news recently. The Shujin track team's been reinstated. For real? For real? I mean, Kamashida's confessed all the horrible stuff he did, right? I guess the team got the old team together and told them they would want to try starting up again. Nobody told me about that. Huh, odd. The rumours got as far as me and I'm not even a student anymore. Anyway, I heard they're going to get Mr. Yamauchi as their new advisor. Huh? Yamauchi? I can't say it. <laughs> Hold up. That? Yamauchi? Yep, the one who's basically Kamishida's lapdog. Apparently he volunteered. He's really enthusiastic about pulling the track team up from the ashes. He is. You know, now that the team is being reinstated, there's no need for bad blood, right? You don't... Why don't you go talk to them? I'm sure they could use someone with your passion. Yeah. Hmm. So the track team's coming back. Good for them. You seem conflicted. Nah, not really. For real though, I'm glad the team's coming back. It's sweet that Nakaoka and them can start training again. But I'm still worried about their advisor, Yamauchi. He's basically like a mini Kamishida. So he's an asshole? Uh... Basically. He'd always yell at us at practice, but then be a huge kiss-ass when our parents were around. 
Oh, I can't believe a moron like that's gonna be advising the track team. He doesn't even teach PE. He's gotta be up to something. I'll do some research. Hmm. There's a chance I'm gonna need your help too, okay? You'll be free to lend me a hand if I need it, yeah? I'll be counting on you. I feel like my bond with Ryuji is growing deeper. We're leveling up again, guys. Let's five. Halfway there. All right. To the max rank. Dun, dun. All right, we don't need to be messing around here anymore. Let's head home. Wait, I got a shower first. See ya. See ya. It's the evening. Ah, you're back. Oh, the box came for you. Oh yeah, my little thingies. What did you get? Two wild clocks. Must be what you ordered off the TV. Um. I'm thinking we could do some lock picking. Let's go back to the pink. <laughs> Let's go back to the burger place. God damn it, we're spending all our money on burgers. It has to be done there, because I don't know how else to upgrade my guts. Big Bang Burger, blah 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 blah. Do, 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 do. Oh, I didn't say it would increase my guts anymore. No, I didn't say it would increase my guts. It usually says if you take the challenge, it'll increase your guts. But it did not that time. I wonder what else we can do. Hmm. Could earn some money. Mm. Out of this crep shop. Mm. Apparently, I'm not a crep person. Oh, Mishima. Hi. Do you remember that group a while back who were claiming to hack weapons in the name of justice? I had pretty high hopes for them, but they turned out to be posers. The Phantom Thieves are true heroes, though. I want to help out however I can. So you did the request. I asked you to. Thanks! Oh yeah, as a strategic image management rep, I thought I should come up with one ways to help you. Do you have time today? This may be a good opportunity to deepen my bond with Mishima. So what you do, are you meeting up with Mishima? Yeah, sure, why not? How does a diner sound to you? Come on! Oh, I forgot to mention, but we're meeting up with some fangirls today. Your thieves are supposed to have some special ladies, right? I'm already taken? Nah. Really? Wait, really? Phantom thieves are supposed to steal girls' hearts. Everyone knows that. Actually... Basically, I met some cool girls on the fan site, and we thought it'd be fun to do an in-person meetup. Oh, that reminds me. You think we're just part of the fandom. I made up this whole story about how we stumbled on the fan site one day, so let's stick to that. Don't spill the beans, okay? The part of the fandom? That's what users of the fan site call themselves. It's really caught on as the forums got more popular. Um. Either way, you should be excited about this and mingling with your loyal supporters is a noble cause indeed. Plus, remember how I said I'd help publicize the fandom thieves? This is just the beginning. <sighs> Though to be honest, I've never actually met someone from online in person. I wonder if I'll be able to do it all right. I did lots of research though. I know all about footing the bill and buying desserts for the girl. <laughs> Apparently, if things go well, you might even t take her home. Right. Hmm? Huh? It's way past our meeting time. Uh, hello, it's Bashima, the guy you met on the fan site? About our meetup. Huh? You're still at home? And what about your friend? Oh, um, yeah, uh-huh. No, we'll be waiting here. Wait, was that a train announcement? I could swear I just heard someone say Shibuya over a loudspeaker. Are you close by? Huh? Oh no, I'm not calling you a liar. Okay, yes. yeah. Maybe next time. Oh, they stood in up! So, both of them apparently got sick. They're just going to stay home. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh. It seemed like they were really into the idea on the forum. <laughs> oh well, my bad. 
I was so pleased with all the new forum posts, I didn't have time to really vet them too much. It's not your fault. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Alright. All to this I have some really good info ready for you guys. I won't let you down, I'll prove just how useful I can be to the Phantom Thieves. Mishima seems extra motivated. Increasing XP earned from battle. All right. Immune confidence has increased to rank three. Okay then. Well, it wasn't supposed to turn out like this though. I bet those girls would never have flaked on me if they knew I'm friends with the real life Phantom Thieves. <sighs> oh, being a guardian of justice isn't so easy, huh? Let's go home. Yeah. Okay, I stood up. Let's just go home. Tuesday! Woo! Sorry if this part is a bit boring for you guys where I'm just doing the grindy days. Morning! What's up? By the way, the exhibit is till the end of this week, huh? We did what we could and now we wait for the results. Let's study. No way, man. Nope. That's the one option that's a definite no. School's enough for studying. Let's exercise, man. Okay, well I guess we're going to exercise then. <laughs> After school. Alright, let's go to the IM. Okay, this one's super special. It's not even anywhere on the forum yet. Anyway, do you remember what that bully, Daisuke Takanashi, who changed, whose heart cha you changed earlier? Well, it turns out there was someone pulling the strings the whole time. It seems like Takanashi doesn't have a choice but to listen to what this guy told him to do. But ordering other someone to bully other people is a pretty crappy thing to do, isn't it? That's horrible. Right? It's totally unacceptable. The person has to be someone in our school, right? You should go take a look around. In the meantime, I'll secretly do a little more research too. Hmm. If you want to go after this target, we'll need a name. Let's go investigate the school. So apparently we need to like wait till we have a free request to do that. So let's go speak to Ahn. What are your plans for today? I'm running around Shibuya. I'm feeling kind of restless. I'll still be in the station for a bit, so let me know if anything comes up. Sure. <laughs> Why not? You have five days to leave action. Supposedly. Just I guess now we wait. The suspense is seriously killing me. Oh, yeah. oh, do you want to go somewhere? If you have the time, I mean. I feel like I can become close with Arn thanks to the lover's persona Pixie. I don't think my bundle with Arn will deepen just yet. So what do you think? Will we spend some time with Lady Arn? I mean, we have yeah. nothing else to do, so why not? What should we do today? Some tea? Let's go. Why don't we hang out at the diner, then? I could go for a nice chat. I probably should have spent my time upgrading my other skills, but oh well. I listened to Arn for a while. He seems to start to gather her thoughts. I don't think my bond with Arn will deepen just yet. Thanks! Thanks! That was lovely. Oh, I'm getting so hungry now. Oh. Ah, you're back. Can we deepen our bond? Actually, no, let's make some coffee. Hey! Yes. Make sure you close up. Mm, I love the smell of good coffee. Yes, all right. Yes. We've got some coffee. Well then, we should get some rest with a big day tomorrow. We don't know, it's just a normal school day. <laughs> You know what guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the next few days off, well not off camera, I'm still going to be recording it, but I'm going to cut it out of this episode and then I'm going to fast forward to when something actually happens so it doesn't get too boring for you guys. You saw some days grinding and um, now we're just going to fast forward to where this shit happens. Okay guys, so I managed to increase my guts. Um, this person just messaged me about taking a new medicine. So you just formed a deal with Sokemi. You wanna go see her at the clinic? Uh, yeah, let's go over. Thanks, I'll be waiting at the clinic. I'll have everything ready for you. Don't you run away, okay? 
finally guys, we managed to increase our guts. I had to go to the diner and drink coffee a few times. Right. The warmer it gets, the stranger people act, like that perverted high school teacher. Has anyone ever studied the correlation between the rise in temperature and weirdos? I'm a cut level of guts, I should be able to handle that medicine. I should suggest a clinical trial. So, what are you here for today? I've developed a new medicine. Could you come to the back? I fill up my bond with a Takemi will grow soon will grow stronger soon. What are you going to do? Are you gonna hang out with Takemi? It might be Takemi. Please head to the exam. In that case, I'm going to start setting up. So go away in the examination room. Well, I'm gonna walk around. Let me know when you're ready to leave. Oh, this one's gonna make me pass out as well. Hmm. Here you go. I've made various adjustments to the previous drug based on your trial results. Alright, drink it down in one gulp. A powerful taste, both sour and bitter, overwhelms me. The smell is terrible. I'm having a hard time breathing. I'm gonna pass out again. <laughs> ah, your reaction to it is absolutely perfect. You feel a bit dazed, hmm? Yes, I mixed some special components. Okay, let's take your temperature and blood pressure. I'm also going to draw some blood. I also want to perform a few motor to skill tests, but those might be too much for you right now. Anyways, since we're in the first stages, I should first stabilise the fundamental formula. Oh, so you are here. <gasps> what? I'm in the middle of an examination. I've told you, poor officer, if you want to investigate me, you need to show me a warrant. Hmm, I'm here because we received a report. I need to see a detailed statement of medical expenses and full medical records. I bet you didn't have enough time to hide any incriminating documents, huh? Must be under the orders of the medical chief of staff. Here you go. Huh? This kid here is my only patient today. If you're asking for his medical expenses, I'm guessing I'm under suspicion of improper billing. But without a receipt, I'd say you've been sent on a wild goose chase. But what's going on here? Mm. You're being manipulated. That report is fictitious. It's nothing but an attempt to harass me. What? Hey, you. What are you doing here? You don't seem to be sick. Are you up to something illegal? I have a bad heart. A, a, a bad heart? Mm -hmm. He's stressed about taking his entrance exams. I have some drugs that will help with relaxation. So, is there anything else? As you can see, I'm pretty busy here. Fine. You're infuriating. You know that. <laughs> But I expect nothing less from the plague. <sighs> oh, I'm so over this. Harassment? Oh, you couldn't infer the meaning from the conversation. I get so irritated whenever it comes up. It's nothing to worry about. I'm sure it was from my former superior who made the false report. He eavesdropped on our conversation the other day, remember? He's just trying to put pressure on me by having the police investigate me and my practice. By the way. Anyway, I need to draw some blood. There'll be some mild anemia, but you're only temporarily. You'll be fine. It's part of our deal, remember? I guess I have no choice. I like kids to listen to their superiors. Enjoy your medicine. I put up my bond with it. Takemi is growing deeper growing even deeper. It's taken a while to grow deep, to be fair. Death <laughs> rank up. Alright. <laughs> I'm going to draw more blood than usual, since you're healthy and all. Only kidding. Okay, please lie down. You can go home once I'm done. I feel like cooperating in that shady clinical trial has increased my guts. I think we need to get to the next rank to phone the teacher. All right. Alice's guts has improved. Take care. What we need to do, though, is increase our charm. I don't know how to do that. I need to Google it because the others are all at level two now. Ah, you're back. Um. We got time right now? No, the guns are going to deepen just yet, so I want to decline yeah. And I think I'm going to go make some lock picks or something because that'll increase my proficiency, and that way we can unlock more treasure chests. And those treasure chests are definitely worth unlocking. Stealth and all. But to be fair, we have four. Okay. We can make some stealth knoll, I guess. Do, 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 do. What are your thoughts? Did you finish? You 
can still make more. What do you plan to do? Yeah, we'll continue making way more. Uh, make some more lockpicks. Okay. I don't even know what stealth and all does. I just guess it makes you more stealthy. What are your thoughts? Hmm. Okay. We'll go for one more hey. lockpick. Okay, well then we'll go for some okay. stealth and all. I guess five lockpicks is enough for like at least the next what castle or palace. You definitely are getting better. I can tell by just watching yeah. you. Two proficiency, please. All right. Well then. Okay, let's go to bed. And then it's gonna be one day until the exhibit ends. We're eight point six though, which is pretty good. It should go up way more once he confesses. Oh, it's no. June now, huh? Personally, this is my least favorite month. It takes an hour to do my hair due to the humidity, and it's a bother deciding what to wear when it rains. But for you, June is a month with no holidays and no events. Now that I think about it, you'll be switching to some uniforms next week. I don't want everyone forgetting, okay? Don't charge up the door in your blazers. On that note, Mr. Rosher. Question. The original blazers were named without that thanks to a certain quality they had. Any ideas what it was? They were brightly coloured. Excellent. Our blazers are black, of course, but the original ones were bright, vivid red. It was mostly used to refer to the jackets worn by a British boating club in the 1800s. Well, nice going. I've been studying a lot recently as well, which is good. Right. So hopefully, level three knowledge comes to us a bit easier. Somewhere along the line, I suppose I still got lost with the name's original meaning. After all, just look at us. Nowadays, blazers don't have to have any colour at all. <sighs> now that that's a bad thing, I think black is pretty stylish. Do, do, do. Right, this is our final day before the big un. Big un. Mm. It's raining. Um, I'm just going to Google how to get some more charm. Okay guys, we're heading to the bathhouse because apparently that increases charm. Oh, it's literally right here. I didn't even know this was here before. It's a bit early to use the bathhouse. I said it's best to relax your body at night. Okay, we'll come back here later. Considering it's raining. I don't want to rest, I want to study. Don't take it to the evening, please. Damn it! That's not what I wanted to do. Ah, you're back. Oh well. The exhibition ends tomorrow. Mother Rowan must have had his change of heart by now, right? I'm sure it'll be fine. So far, nobody's come charging us with anything, yeah? But wouldn't he wait to press charges until after the exhibition? What should we do if someone contacts us about it tomorrow? Try asking Yusuke. He's still staying with Madarame, right? Oh yeah, that's right. Where is Yusuke? I wonder if he'll be okay with Madarame. Sorry, I'm late to contact you all. It seems something will certainly be happening tomorrow. Madarame is on the phone as we speak. What do you mean, something? I believe he's preparing for a media announcement. I didn't hear anything about pressing charges. Guess we just gotta wait then. Let us meet in Shibuya tomorrow. Okay, see you then. Well then. The exhibition is finally ending tomorrow. I'm sure things will work out fine this time too. Um, that's so now annoying that we missed like a whole after school session. I was just hoping to study because that increases when it rains, obviously. But let's go to the bathhouse. This is the bathhouse. It's in such a secluded area. Using the bathhouse will cause time to pass, but it can improve your charm. The fee to use a bath is 500 yen. The effect you get from the bath depends on factors such as the day of the week and the weather. On Mondays and Thursdays, the bath will be a medicinal bath. You will gain more charm than usual on these days, so try to aim for that. Something special will occur when it's raining. Be sure to visit the bathhouse on a rainy day and see for yourself. It was oh. raining earlier and I tried to. Pooey. So too early for the bathhouse. Why is it too early for the bathhouse after school? <sighs> My body and mind feel so relaxed. Oh. It seems like you really refreshed yourself. I think you're even more handsome now. <laughs> Yes, we're head turning! All right. 
We're two on each now, guys. I'm so excited. Come on. We should get home before you get cold. How exciting! We managed to finally have two on each one. Okay, guys, tomorrow. Today is the big day. What's up with that old geezer? Oh, is he crying? I... I have committed crimes that are unbecoming of an artist. Plainly put, I... Uh, plagiarized work. I... I tainted this... This country's art world and... and even Sayuri... How could I, I possibly apologize to, to everyone for, for what I've done? <laughs> <laughs> He's crying way too much. <laughs> and that was from the urgent apology conference by Matarame that took place just a moment ago. After reporting to the association, Matarame has agreed to the police's request to turn himself in. Wasn't he on TV the other day? On top of charges of abuse to his pupils, Matarame is under suspicion of claiming their works as his own. Some doubt the validity that his maiden work, Sayuri, was stolen, believing it was used for fraud. This large-scale criminal act has caused a great shock to the art world, and... That old man's done for. After the conference, Matarame was taken to a police hospital for interrogation due to his age. However, initial psych evaluations state that he is mentally sound and likely responsible for his actions. There's no need to be nice to an old geezer like that. Why do he spill the beans himself? Doesn't that seem weird? Also, a group calling themselves the Phantom Thieves posted a dubious note at Matarame's exhibit. The police will investigate their relation to this case, but for now, did not identify them as suspects. Phantom thieves? Do these bandits have something to do with that old geezer's apology? Oh, I've heard of them before. They supposedly steal evil hearts. It's why the culprits apologize. Wait, what? Steal hearts? <laughs> That's impossible, though. But I feel like I saw something about that online, too. They sent out a calling card for real. Oh, so it was like, we're going to take your heart? Oh, that's impressive if someone really did that. Phantom thieves, huh? Phantom thieves again. Ooh, we did it! <laughs> you guys see the news about Madarame? It's just like what happened with Kamoshida. And they mentioned the phantom thieves! Man, this is starting to get interesting. If we do it right, we can change people's hearts. With this power, we might be able to do more than just getting back at society. It'll be a big deal. This'll be fun. Let's keep pushing on then. As for me, I I'm wonder how you skate feeling. More and more famous. Something like this happening twice is massive too. It's too great a coincidence to occur normally. If we continue doing this, we'll definitely be able to give courage to everyone who needs it. We may want to quiet down a little. Do you know them? You moron! Those are attendance officers! Hello there. May I speak with you for a moment? Ah, yes! How can we help you? That monotonous acting of hers never fails to send a chill down my spine. <laughs> what are you all doing here? Are you friends? Yes. We want some tea. Hmm, <laughs> is that so? And how would you do that in a place like this? We were just discussing where we should go. Well, all right. Just make sure you disperse before it gets too late, okay? There have been some odd happenings lately, and the news about that artist has caused quite the stir. We'll be careful. It's still light out. 
Man, those guys must have way too much time on their hands. Hey, don't go making stuff up on the spot like that, okay? I totally panicked because of you. From now on, we'll need to be even more cautious than before. Look at us. Right after the second Thieves incident, both prior victims are meeting up. Wait, you mean people might be listening to us? It'll be fine. Look around, we're the only people worrying about it. I guess you're right. By the way, Yusuke, you able to get anything out of Madarame? Remember how he was talking about that suspicious person in the black mask? Well, I pressed him for answers, but he doesn't even understand what happened to him to begin with. It's not like he actually saw his desires get stolen, after all. It's rumored that he may be sent to prison. In that case, gaining information will be difficult. So, what are you gonna do now? I'll be leaving that house. I can't draw on such a place anymore. Where are you gonna go? Do you have somewhere to go? The school dorms. I can stay there free of charge thanks to my fine art scholarship. Okay, good. Good, good, good. A scholarship? Wait, you're that good? Although, Takamaki-san's house would do as well. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh yeah, because she has no one home. You could ask her to model for you whenever you wanted. <laughs> you moron! Then again, now that Yusuke will be living alone, it'll be easier for us to meet up whenever we want. For the time being, we should wait and see how this case plays out. And it'll probably take some time finding a target as big as Madarame. Anyway, we should just act like normal students while we look for our next target, okay? Okay. We'll be entrusting that to you again, Ryuji. All right. Guess it's just more prep till then. Oh no, I've had a feeling she'd be watching. Yusuke it does seem suspicious that Yusuke is with us. And he was Madarame's like student. So after Shiho Suzui, you did it again for someone you barely knew? You were sent away twice, almost reported to the police, and yet you still wanted to save him. Moreover, you ended up in a museum instead of a castle this time. You're still going to maintain this rubbish about changing someone's heart by stealing their treasure? Mm-hmm. It's all true. Mm. Very well. The truth behind this tale of yours will be clear once your conspirators are in custody. Now then, tell me about this new member who joined your group. There's no point in being stubborn. It will only damage your position. The identity of Madarame's pupil can be easily discovered with a little investigation. I'm not telling. They could discover that so really you easily. Sell out your accomplice? Mm -mm. <sighs> Fine. There's still much more that I want to hear. It was around this time that the Phantom Thieves began to truly gain popularity. Lies flooded the internet. Things like the Phantom Thieves saved me too, or I got a calling card. For heaven's sake, those lies made the collection of intel take almost ten times longer. Now your next target was this man. Ooh. Junya Kaneshiro. He doesn't compare to the previous two. Even the police had been struggling to apprehend him. So, exactly how did you take down such a well-guarded criminal? Tell me. Oh, I'm excited for this next one. The summary of the story up to this point has been updated. To read, press the triangle button to open the menu, then select story from under the system option. The suspect has repeatedly testified that he does not have any recollection of his actions. A full psychiatric evaluation will be performed to further investigate the crime's details and motives. First, Kamoshida at Shujin Academy, and now Matarame. I found a number of points of commonality between the two. 
Both, for example, were sent a calling card before their unforeseen changes of heart. I see. But isn't tying their cases to the series of psychotic breakdowns jumping to conclusions? Furthermore, the police will frown upon you stepping into this. Now isn't the time to be worrying about things like jurisdiction and honor. We need to dig deeper and find a correlation among the incidents these past two, three years. <sighs> Very well, I leave it to you. However, you must not let this interfere with your regular duties. Thank you, sir. That damn woman just had to stick her nose into this. And I understand that these abnormal incidents have caused some anxiety throughout our country. This situation must be approached with the utmost seriousness. I feel like he's going to be one of the people we take down. Wasn't I he shall at that continue buffet to place? Put forth great effort so that every citizen can live with peace of mind. Not only are there these phantom thieves to worry about, but if that is exposed. <sighs> The plot thickens, guys. Hey. If I remember correctly, your transfer line's at Shibuya, right? I heard customers say it's gotten pretty dangerous over there. Don't let yourself be a target, got it? You have my gratitude. Why are you so polite for all of a sudden? I truly am thankful to you for making me come to my senses. You're exaggerating. I most certainly am not. I must express my gratitude earnestly. You're one of us now, man. We'll be counting on you, okay? Of course. And if anything comes up, you won't hesitate to lend a hand. Thank you. Well then, see you. Well, there are a lot of ups and downs, but we still pulled off our first job. Yusuke joined the team too, so let's continue reforming society like this. Okay guys, I'm going to end that episode there, but if you enjoyed this one, remember to smash that like button, if you haven't already, hit subscribe and the notification bell, it's free, and remember to check out all the links in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!